Well, 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 look what series has been going for a full year as of today. So I guess a happy birthday to We Have Never Played Zombies, you are one year old. Today I just wanted to do a bit of a special video doing some reflection on the series so far and also have a look at how far we have to go. The first thing I wanted to show is the origins of this series. A little over a year ago, me and Jameson were both trying to brainstorm some new video series ideas that would help the channel be a little bit more consistent outside of relying specifically on Mythbusters. During our brainstorming, Jameson brought up that he really liked our videos, which felt a little bit more like a journey with a story. And I definitely agreed with this. One of the videos I weirdly look back on really fondly is the skydiving onto a ladder video from Battlefield 1. The myth in question in that video isn't even that interesting, but it was just the fact that we spent over seven hours jumping out of a plane and trying to land on a ladder. It was the degradation of our sanity during that video, and the process ended up being more interesting than the result in the end. There was also a couple of videos I had watched around this time last year that had also inspired me when it comes to journey, story-like content. Eddie Burback visiting every rainforest cafe in North America, Brian Gilbert reading every Halo book, and I remember Rachel Vick playing every Formula One game. I don't even really care about any of those three things individually, but the gauntlet those guys went through to make that content, I just found it really captivating to watch. Call of Duty has always been our most popular covered game, so pretty quickly I came up with the idea of playing through every zombies map. It is a core area which we've always neglected when it comes to Call of Duty. Looking through my old Discord messages on the topic, you guys are going to find some of these comments funny in retrospect. Did you know I wanted this project to be just three videos? This message is especially funny because this video here is technically the 10th video I've done on zombies. There was a lot of these Discord messages which just seem hilarious now in retrospect. I'm not sure what the plan was here, but I seem to think that World War II and Black Ops 4 was going to be one video at some point. I don't know what was happening there. This series has obviously evolved and gotten way out of hand in a way that I never anticipated. What I have done next is compile every map we have done so far, which you can see here. Now, 19 is not too bad for one year. Except, well, these maps here were just exploration only. They didn't have a major Easter egg. If I remove those maps, then we are down to just completing 12 maps with Easter eggs in this year. Now, I try not to do too much research into future games. This is a blind series after all. But with the help of the Patreons, I have mostly confirmed that we have 32 maps left when it comes to the traditional maps with major Easter eggs. So, if we continue to receive the Patreon support, we need to keep this series going at the pace I am currently moving at, this series could possibly go until 2026? Um, but I do also want to figure out what is going on with Call of Duty Mobile Zombies. Also, before I finish this series in 2026, more zombies is likely to come out. It looks like with Modern Warfare 3, it's already been leaked that that has some sort of zombie component. I also don't really just want to make the same video back to back for five years straight. I like making videos as a creative outlet. So along the way, there will be other stuff I make just for my sanity. Uh, so yeah, the ETA of the end end of this series, uh, I don't know, like 2027, 8? I don't know, I really don't know. But regardless, that is a problem for future Joe. Now it is time to look back on year one. When I started this series, I thought that no one would really give a shit. Mythbusters was the only thing we've ever had success with, and I just didn't know anything about zombies or the community in general. Overall, it's still not a very successful series in the grand scheme of YouTube, or even by Defend the House standards, to be honest. I think only two episodes have broken past 200k views, but the people who do watch the series seem to really enjoy them. I do have to do the usual spiel because it is part of my effort to get this series to the finish line. Consider supporting this series on Patreon if you are a fan. It is not doing great for the channel and YouTube does not like it. So if you want this series to survive or maybe even thrive, that is the only way to do it honestly. Thanks as always to the people who have decided to support it already. Even though Call of Duty Mythbusters is still our biggest thing by far, there is a level of enthusiasm 
enthusiasm and excitement that you guys show towards these videos that I can't really remember my Mythbuster videos ever getting. So for that, I really appreciate it. I read all the comments and I'm glad you guys are liking them. I don't know why you keep saying there's cutscenes in Black Ops 3. I mean, there obviously isn't. Anyway, so far, this has just been a lot of me talking. So how about a cheeky little best bits montage showcasing my personal favorite moments from the past year of this series? What the? Who's that? Oh, it's George Romero. Ow! <laughs> Oh god, he's fucking fast! Yeah. Ah! 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 What the fuck, dude? What are you doing? What the fuck? George! I guess the nice thing now is like he's way over there and it's gonna take him like 30 minutes to walk all the way this way. Oh! What oh the, what my the, what the god, fuck? he's so Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Something just crashed down to Earth. Wait, really? Yeah. What the? Oh god, what the? The monkeys! It's monkeys! <laughs> no! <laughs> the monkeys are attacking! Can you just walk off the map? Uh, <laughs> I had to find out. Whee! Uh, oh god, that extremely breaks. Okay. <laughs> uh, can I... Oh. Yep. There he goes. <laughs> I really thought we'd be... Oh, I blew it up! Oh, did you? Oh, you persevering <laughs> bastard. I respect it. Whoop! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Wait, what?! <laughs> And there's a thing over here. It says, uh, hold F to enter the afterlife. Oh! Oh, you just died. You just, like, killed yourself. What is this guy? He's got, like, a little... Look at him. I'm scared. I don't see what you're looking at. He's got glasses. I don't see a zombie. Oh, really? No, I didn't... Whoa! Ah! What the... What the... Huh? <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> what does You gotta do? see this, dude. Look, he's <laughs> tiny! I'm a bow tiny! That's so stupid. <laughs> That's great. Oh! <laughs> where, where, where? <laughs> oh my god, dude! Ah. It's open. Ah. Ah. Oh! 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 Oh, he's gonna take me off and kill me, right? Oh, shit! I flew into the air! Ah. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> dude, this is fucking funny! Oh wow, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> grenade disposal? What happens if you throw a grenade in here? I know one way to find out. <laughs> oh, that's sick, holy shit. What's in the uh, the cave here? Whoa, woo! <laughs> here he goes! Yeah, he's yeah! surfing down! Woo! Yeah! Oh god. <laughs> ah! Woo! Whee! Oh, this is a good one. Oh yeah. Hey! There he is! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hang on to your butts. Woo! Oh my god. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Uh, what the? Oh! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, I'm probably dead here, by the way. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> what happened over there? I got crushed by a robot! <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, Bill Paxton said, Oh, did you see that? Guess that it was the popcorn setting. He said that like nine times already. <laughs> popcorn setting. <laughs> Do you shut up? Watch out! Oh! God damn it! <laughs> Fucking shit! <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's so stupid. Rocket! Ooh. Are we blowing up Earth? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. We did it. We solved the zombie problem. What the fuck is happening, by the way? Yes. Whoa! 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 The Wendigos are back. Whoa! 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 These are different. They're like acrobatic ballerinas. What the? Whoa! What's going on in there? Holy shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! My perspective right now. No! <laughs> that was exactly what I wanted to do. No, <laughs> you piece of shit. Wee! Oh fuck! Nice. I got hit by a zombie at the last nice. second. <laughs> Can you activate? Oh it sh Oh shit! Oh my god! Look at that! It's like holy! That's awesome. Here's the last piece. What do I win? <gasps> Damn! Hey, I found something neat. <laughs> Damn! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Who the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't remember that guy. Told I have to give booze. Hey, how about something he deserves it. Oh, I think he's gonna go on a rampage. Hey, he is! Hey, he's gone. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> he loves yeah. the booze. Hold F to give booze. <laughs> he goes like, give me, give me. No, 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 this no, way, no, dude. No, 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 where, where are you going? Oh. <laughs> oh. He's gonna fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh, there you go. <laughs> what? He's got a crawler for us. Are you kidding? And the round doesn't advance? He'll just keep it safe forever. Oh my god, what? <laughs> yeah. Does he have it? He's just carrying it. I'm waiting at the spawn. You That's illegal. You can't do that. He's just carrying it. Oh, he just made the whole thing instantly. Oh. Oh, wow. I thought he was just going to do it part by part. Whoa. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, Samantha. Oh, my God. Get her. Oh, Fuck her up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> this is fucked up, man. I'm going to mega zap him. Okay. Oh. 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 Oh, <laughs> oh I hate it. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. There's a monkey Did on you. you see that? Oh, my God. It's yeah. on me. You see that fucking thing? There's a guy up there. Is there a man in there? Is that Mr. Dr. Manhattan? Who's that? I think it's Dr. Manhattan. Oh, my God. He's on the front of the bus. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. Why? He's on the front of the bus. He's zapping the shit out of me. He's hideous. Hey. Oh. Wow, well, he's not hideous anymore. Oh, 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 fuck. Oh! Whee! <laughs> uh, oh my fuck. Oh what? my god! <laughs> Woo! Well, okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> Wait, is that a red herring? It's literally a herring, and it's red. You're thinking of a hair run. A hair oh, run. Oh, I am. Like, thinking yeah, of a blue hair. Like, a, yeah, I'm the thinking of a in the hair run, you're stuff. right. I pressed the it button. Does. It's fine, Norman, but I'll keep this on me. Oh! Whoa. Yes, we escaped. No, is it going to do what Jameson said? Oh! Yes! <laughs> it needs access to the sky, but even if it doesn't have access to the sky, it's still trying. Oh! oh shit. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Hold F to begin takeoff sequence. Oh! I'm on! <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, it's just like some Kevin McAllister stuff. Whee! Whee! Oh, Golden Gate Bridge. Uh oh. We're gonna crash right into it. Ah. ah! Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, shit. New map. Wait. <laughs> I'm in. Whoa. I'm on. What the fuck is happening here? <laughs> I don't know. What? Uh, wait, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? What the fuck? What? Huh? Did we just get killed by the turret? Okay, he dropped the zombie. Ooh! You have. Oh, wow. <laughs> 48 grand, baby. 60, 60 grand. Let's go. 122,000. Let's go. 120K. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> you. Ah! I can ride it oh, as well. That's ah, oh, my shit. God. Fuck. There's <laughs> Holy ah! fuck. It is evil with this. Ow. Ah. Ow. Ah. God, fuck. This guy's an asshole, man. <laughs> He won't die. Jesus. What the? What? Whoa! Oh my god. Oh shit, run! Oh, no, no, oh, fuck, no, no. run! Oh fuck, oh, god. oh fuck. Oh, let's go, dude. I'm so sick. Okay, you got him. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Uh. Whoa. What the fuck? Look at this dude. Holy shit. Oh, there's a fucking... There's an armor. There's a Brutus guy in here. No. No, 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 no. Hold my beer. This will be no problem. And yeah. fuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! He's sh shooting rockets. <laughs> oh, is it possible the entrance is? Oh! Holy Wait. shit! Oh my god, it's drilling in here. Wow! Holy shit! Oh my god! Whoa! 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 whoa Jesus! Whoa! What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa. What? The, what? Oh my god, the earth looks- wait, oh um, wait, what? What am I looking at? We're on earth. What now? But why is the earth still in the skybox? <laughs> what? Yeah, earth is just back there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Someone's be... already down to the oh, oh my how, god. What the fuck? What the fuck? Did you just get crushed by a bookcase? I, I think yeah. so. Whoa, what the- Oh, hi! Ah! Whoa. Oh, she ah! just stole all my money. Oh shit, really? What the fuck? She, she 
Jesus. What, the what the fuck? What the fuck is this? Okay. Get the fuck okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So that was a pretty fun montage, it was very nice looking back on all the fun that we had in Zombies this year, but I don't know, something was missing from that montage. I feel like it was missing a lot of the big moments that maybe can't be categorized as fun. Can someone else except for Max explain stuff, because this guy is just like not conscious here. He's, he's tired, uh, man. Come on. Yeah, we'll do someone else explain that. I don't have the TNT uh, anymore for whatever fucking reason, so we might have to do that step again. Awesome. What? Oh, this Easter egg can suck my dick, dude. This is so <laughs> yeah. annoying. Oh, I'm going up. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm to you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I didn't know. Uh... Also, I. I think my FOV has been reset. <laughs> Upon death? Yeah, my FOV has absolutely been reset. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just adjust it while I grab my exosuit. I'm gonna try to really quickly. Oh god, I'm, I I can't I can't play this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello? I think we all have to be here. Add oh. part. Hold the everyone hold the add part. Hurry. Can you get out of the way so I can do it? No, I, I, all I, the zombies I, I, are. No, no, it's like it's it's like. Why? Oh. Everyone has to be holding X at the same time. Oh, that was not what? on my guy. Oh, that was not making it. We're gonna all, yeah. Ah. No, no are you? No. Oh, oh. Did you get the classic slip and slide break on you? Yeah. Oh, oh my oh. god. It's so, no. it's so bullshit, dude. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, shit. <sighs> But what did, what did you it have? Stupid. So all Jameson has to do is hit the time bomb. Uh oh. Perhaps this device oh, I fucked it. Uh, oh. You did fuck it. <laughs> we could probably do it even faster. Last time you had to yeah. restart, reset. Never. There is no air in here. Oh, should we have done something before we left? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm dead. <laughs> I don't know. Ah. <laughs> Wait, it's around one. Can we just slash him? Uh. No, no, no. We can't. No, we can't. Uh, uh, okay, no. <laughs> I'm out of here! Oh no. my god. I survived! I made it to the moon. <laughs> Fuck. P. Livingston. What the? Huh? Uh. Who the hell is this? He's grabbing me! He's what hugging the... Oh, fuck! What the? <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what the hell is happening in this map? Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh god, my game's tapped out. My game's tapped out. Oh no. Oh, it was frozen? Hello? Okay, you're knocked. Uh... My game's just frozen, dude. Oh my god, dude. <sighs> yep, you're dead. Okay, but you're still in the game, sort of. And you've timed out. You have disconnected. Oh my god. Alright, well, I'm just gonna start running in circles now with this zombie friend. I think my game just crashed. Oh my no! god. A pecan pie? I think, uh, pecan I think pie my game crashed again. never had it. Oh, think... yep, you disappeared. Holy what? fuck. What do I do? I don't know what to do. Oh, what my God. Fuck? Oh, oh, my God. Oh, shit, we lost Semi. Great. No way. Is there no join in progress? Uh, I don't think so. Probably not. I think it's 2010, man. It's not going to let him back. I have been disconnected from the Call of Duty by uh, uh, Have you? Nope. Uh, okay. Fuck. We only need one more part of the Lightning Staff, and then we are good to... Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I think we're. Oh, is this we're, crash? We're, 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 yeah, uh, that's. Yep. Oh. Sick. Shit. Oh, nice. Last connection host. One shot is gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, then I just said no. Oh no, the box is bugged. How'd you know? Because look at the monitor where it says the box is. Yeah. And look where I am. Oh, it's supposed to be here. Wait, that's a thing that happens? I've never seen it happen. <laughs> uh. Any over here, Trey, I've got these ones that spawn on this little middle parting. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> uh, wow. Wait, what happened? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> what it's happened? Tuesday, Joe. Joe, it's Tuesday. They do steam maintenance from 3 to 4 on Tuesdays. Alright, that was a bit of a miserable way to finish the montage section, so how about one more montage? This is the last one, I swear.
I'm shooting the gush. Oh, it's hey. happening. <laughs> oh. We did it! <laughs> yes! Oh my god! What the? Oh. This is your reward, you get 90 second miniguns. Nice! Alright, he's in the beam! No, just in here. Start going up the stairs. <laughs> this is hilarious! Oh! Oh! Did we get him? Is that it? Is that good know. or bad? Maybe? I don't know. There's a thing! No way! Really? Holy shit, there is! How do we know if we've done it, you know? Uh, there should be a... Oh, we got a cheap Let's go! Hell yeah. Go, go, oh go. Grab God. it. Oh my God. Fucking it. hell. Joe, grab it. Give me that grab fucking it. thing. Give me that. Rick's <laughs> off his Jesus table. Jesus Christ. That was epic. <laughs> Fuck this, man. I see him. I see him in the really? corner. I just saw him outside. I see him. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Okay, okay. Get over here. He's in. He's in. Put, put the turbines down. Turbines down. Turbines down. I'm fucking just chucking an EMP. EMP'd. He's doing something. Oh my god! Okay. I have placed my- Yes! Yes! yes Holy dude. fuck. South. East. West. North. Oh! Hey! You're a genius! Hey! You're a genius! Yeah, that's why they pay me the big bucks, baby! You're a genius! <laughs> and then we revive ourselves. Okay. Hey! I presume that's it? Uh, what happened? It's, P it's PvP, by the way. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, it's PvP. We're done, right? We're, we're fully we good. Are, we are done. I think I'm in trouble okay, here. good luck. <laughs> <laughs> no! That wasn't fair. I think I got more. Did mine. I did it. I did it. Oh, shh. Oh, oh let's hey, go! <laughs> let's go! Oh, my gosh. Oh. Done. Mine's off. Mine's off. Mine's off. Oh, lightning's oh, striking fine. the tower. The tower's lighting up. That's it, baby. I did it. Yay! Nice. Nicely done. I think I hit it on mine. Yeah, we got hey, it. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, we got it. Oh. We oh did my it. God. Oh my God. God. Okay, everyone, come on the blue circle here. Interact. Come on it. Interact. There you go. Oh. I did it. We did it. Oh. Nice. Game over. <laughs> What's that? Approved index. Oh, oh no! no. Oh. Game I over, man! I know that reference. Game over! There we go! We oh, mono. we got it. Oh my god! Oh. Holy shit! Look at He's coming Look to life! Holy shit, that's cool! Oh my god! <laughs> He's gonna help us kill the big guy! Uh, where's the last one? <laughs> How am I dead? <laughs> How am I dead? I hate this man. I fucking hate this man. This sucks so much, man. It sucks. Ah! Ah, this sucks, man. I can't stand this, dude. Whose fucking idea was this? This is terrible. <laughs> good, Do it, Chris. All right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> You're still going. Get up. Get up. Get up and grab the fucking thing. Did I get it? I don't know if I got it. Let's fucking go. <laughs> there it is, baby. There it fucking is. Yes. The last thing I want to do in this video for the one year celebration is I open the floor to our patrons to ask zombie relevant questions. I will be answering some of these solo as they relate more to the making of the series and then I will be calling in Jameson for the second chunk of questions which are a bit more relevant to just playing zombies in general. We actually did get a lot of questions so I won't be getting to all of them but thank you as always to our patrons. Appreciate you guys getting involved. Triton asks do you find this series or specifically the long form 
series a better creative outlet in comparison to the short form series. I don't know if we have any short form series honestly. The other major thing we've always done is Mythbusters and I would kind of consider that one long ongoing format. Even though we do those series on a per game basis, it feels like they follow a DNA when it comes to editing, recording and how those go production wise. So I personally can't really think of any short form series that we've done. I'm sure we have along the way, but I will say that I find zombies to be more creative when it comes to editing uh, than I do with Mythbusters. Zombies is not a shared series when it comes to editing. I do all of it so I can inflict a lot of Joe-isms. I feel a lot freer in Zombies to kind of edit like a shit post at times. There's a lot more of my personality and terrible sense of humor in Zombies than there is in like the Mythbuster videos. The only thing I really don't like about Zombies uh, editing wise is just going through hours and hours and hours of footage and just chopping it down. I feel like 80% of my editing life is just chopping down hours of zombie footage. But when it comes to constructing the actual chapters, I feel a bit more creatively free to be weird with these videos compared to Mythbusters, I would say. Triton also asks, what were some of your concerns with doing this series? Um, I guess that they wouldn't do well and that no one would care. Um, but I don't know if I would say I was that concerned about that because I would just stop making them and move on. I would say my biggest concern is for the future. Uh, and that is looking at the fact that we have 32 maps to go. Actually, more than 32 maps. So those are just the ones with Easter eggs. I just... Uh, I'm concerned about how I'm going to keep the series really varied and interesting for years to come. Um, not just from like a viewing perspective, but also just when it comes to making them. I don't want to get bored making them and I don't want you guys to get bored of watching them. So yeah, that's probably the only concern I have, uh, but I'll figure it out as I go. Triton also asked if you had the ability to do this same format with another series. Would you or would you do something entirely new instead? I'm not sure. It seems like I have five years to figure it out. Maybe by the end of this, I never want to do a super long series ever again or maybe by the end of this i'm addicted to going on long arduous gaming journeys i don't know that is a problem for the future as well i will say jameson has something which i would say is kind of spiritually similar to the zombie series coming up pretty soon i also do have another list of games which i think would be interesting to give the i don't know what you want to call this treatment let's just say to go on a journey with i have like another list of games written down and i'm not going to say what those are but yeah i would say i have other ideas for similar stuff like this um yeah we will see in the future cello asks what are your expectations on black ops 3 zombies and future zombie titles for black ops 3 i am expecting similar stuff to origins a a lot of people said Origins is kind of similar to what we should expect from Black Ops 3, maybe in terms of scale. So I guess the only thing I'm expecting is denser maps, longer exploration times. Um, I don't know what to expect from the Easter eggs, hopefully like cinematic, big, cool stuff. Stuff like going to Agatha, I think it was Agatha, whatever. You know, the, the teleporter place in Origins, getting stepped on by the giants and popping inside their heads. Even recently, just going to that island on Carrier, Stuff like that, like unexpected twists, is what I'm kind of hoping for uh, from Black Ops 3. When it comes to the rest of the games, I don't know a lot. I'm actually really excited for Infinite Warfare. I know nothing about that Zombies mode. I've never even seen it. Um, and I really liked the campaign of that game back in the day. People seem to speak really fondly of Infinite Warfare. So I would actually say Infinite Warfare is probably my most anticipated out of the entire series. World War 2 is a game that I would say I was dreading the most because I hated that campaign. Um, but people in the community have maybe put some of those worries to bed a little bit. People have said that overall they did like World War II, and someone even said it was the darkest and like most fucked up of the zombies, which personally makes me excited because I am a sicko. Uh, then it's Black Ops 4. Um, I don't know much about Black Ops 4. I've heard it's the most challenging and maybe a little obnoxious at times. I mean, the Black Ops games are all fun to me, so I'm looking forward to Black Ops 4. Cold War is probably the one I'm least looking forward to just because me and Jameson have actually played some of it back when we were doing Myth Busters. It's really fun to jump into these games and discover them for the first time, but we are not going to have that with Cold War because we have seen it, we've played it, we've even explored like three of the maps 
or so. People do seem to like Cold War, and I do remember there being some big open maps, so I guess that's kind of interesting. And Vanguard, I am fascinated about because people hate that game and I really don't know why. But yeah, apart from that, I really don't know a lot, uh, but I'm looking forward to every game individually, I would say. Uh, Ash asks, do you wish you got into zombies sooner? And the answer is no. Uh, people seem to really like the nostalgia of the series. They like that we are really late and far behind. I think the biggest novelty of the series is that we are newcomers this late. Uh, so no, I think us being late to the game is what makes the series so different. Alberto and Ivan both ask, will you be following zombies in the new Call of Duty games? I think as long as this series is ongoing, if new zombies comes out, that means it has to be in the series. I think once the series is over for good, that's it, the series is over. We can't really end the series without finishing every zombie map, and even if they've come out since we've started the series, those are zombie maps which currently exist. So the answer is probably inevitably yes, but once the series is over, no. I think Call of Duty will just go on forever, and I don't want this series to go on forever. I want it to have a nice full stop. I want it to have a good finale. Love Bite asks, will you be trying out Black Ops 3 custom maps? I'm just going to announce right now that once we are done with the five Call of Duty Ghost Extinction maps, which is our current patron exclusive series, the next patron exclusive video series after that will be playing Black Ops 3 custom maps with Patreons. By the looks of the schedule, that should start maybe before Revelations in Black Ops 3. But the answer is yes, we will be playing Black Ops 3 custom maps. It will be patron exclusive and probably ongoing for the whole duration of the series. Master Queef asks, how did the character of Reginald come around? Um, I don't really know what this question means. Who are you calling character? You, you chump. Reginald, you can't call the patrons names. They literally fund this entire series. Look at his name, sir. It's barbaric. Yeah, yeah, it's a little weird, but I mean... At least he's a master <laughs> at it. But all right, it is time to drag Jameson into this Q&A as well. All right, uh, this one was asked quite a few times, uh, and I think it was inevitable that it was going to come up, and that is what was our favorite map of the year? You go first. The thing that sticks out in my head the most is the stretch of time between mob and going directly into buried. Yeah. If the question was like, what's your favorite chunk? It would be that chunk where we did those yeah, maps back to back. I'm mm -hmm. gonna give it to Buried. Uh, obviously I just cut up a montage for this video, so I've like looked through all the highlights and I, I just love the weird shit which went down on Buried. Obviously Boozer to me is like the best individual <laughs> mechanic of the year. Yeah. The ghost house moment was really good and it was uh, a memorable Easter egg, maybe for the wrong reasons. I think Buried will be infamous forever for, you know, us having to do the rerun, the ripped off and rerun like six mm -hmm. times because of disconnects and that fucking step with to find the dead bodies on the floor and the black and white part, that sucked. And you drop yeah, in the I time gonna... bomb. <laughs> yeah, shut up. <laughs> I'm trying to start before you mention it. <laughs> um, the, yeah, my gut instinct was buried as well. Yeah. But I did sort of forget about all that other shit we did on buried, <laughs> but like, but buried was pleasant to be on because they there are so many it's so easy on Barry yeah, like, there's so true. much stuff Boozer is so handy oh and the, the bank um like you know oh right scamming yeah was like its own little chapter oh yeah Pl yeah that that one's got to be it buried is too too powerful it's so I, fun yeah <clears throat> though mob was also nice because I feel like mob was when I I think both of us I don't know it felt like that was when we s figured out zombies yeah in a way you know um, but oh, yeah. getting around, getting around mob is a little annoying and I, Easter egg wise, I really, I'm going to be honest, I couldn't tell you a single thing from any of the Easter eggs. <laughs> I mob don't remember like, any of it. You have to make the plane like four times and keep going oh, yeah, yeah, back yeah. and forth. And then there was a lot of shooting of targets on Buried. Yeah. Yeah. But I would still say despite all the, the frustrations on Buried, Buried is just, yeah, it's very comfortable and easy yeah. to get around and easy to just play. I'll give a second place to Moon as well. Moon was really cool. Uh, yeah. I like the low gravity and like anti-pressurization stuff that you could do with grenades and the big drill would like burst open the big dome. drill, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Origins is like cool from a, you know, sort of just a, they go, put the pedal to the metal on the crazy factor. Mm -hmm. But mm, Origins, like getting around Origins kind of a pain in the ass, especially all that mud. Can you think of a specific moment? Donovan asked if it was a favorite moment. 
that you've had. I, again, I sort of mob that run where we attempted the god run, <clears throat> and we got like the acid gat, you know, created, yeah. and then the other gun upgraded, and uh, that one just felt like we figured. Yeah, I like I said, it felt like we figured out how to how to game zombies properly in that session. That's probably the one for me. Yeah, that's fair. I, I liked finishing the Origins Easter egg because that, first of all, that was a good run. Like, we barely had any problems yeah. with the Easter egg and yeah, it was yeah. the end of Black Ops 2, so it felt like a big climactic moment. Mm, true. Oh, actually, I really love the George Romero drama in Call of the Dead because it was very early on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I liked, oh, 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 I did like... Uh, when the earth got nuked so hard it exploded. <laughs> yeah, that was good. And then and then what I liked even more was when we went back to Area 51 <laughs> and the earth was still in the sky. I just cut up for the montage and you love that back then. <laughs> I really liked that bit. Here's a good one. What's your most frustrating moment slash map? Mm. So I guess the least favorite map. I mean, for mm. me, my most frustrating moment was the solo outbreak Easter egg in Advanced Warfare by Miles. Right. And that fucking yeah, yeah. sucked. I hated that. Yeah. My least favorite map. Um, least favorite hmm. map. Uh, probably she. Not she. No Numa. Um. Fuck. What's it called? I've forgotten it. It's so Sh stupid. Shangri La. Shangri La. God damn it! I hated that map. Um. Honestly, least favorite. Uh. It's probably transit. Damn. Just, just having to do all that bullshit on transit forever and ever and ever and the two versions of the Easter egg yeah, and they were sucked. both shit. I and... actually look <sighs> I, I look back on the exploration of transit as one of my favorite moments of the entire year. Those five days of like exploring that map I thought were really fun. Yeah, yeah, to, to a point. <laughs> but then once it, you know, it just kept going. It did keep going. And I also was very, very upset when I fucked up the time bomb on Buried. <laughs> yeah, you really fucked that so bad, dude. I was not happy with myself. I don't like when I fuck up and it, it involves wasting other people's time. You don't count either in that. <laughs> other <Hey>. people. <laughs> uh, it's all content for me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't say like anything has been super annoying, though. I obviously missed Shangri-La and uh, a couple of the early ones right that because you did them solo yeah and i also haven't done any of the advanced warfare stuff solo so it's not there's not really been a lot of frustration i would say it's all been fairly pleasant <sighs> the like disconnects of transit sucked yeah yeah that stuff and again tr that that all piles into the transit hate bucket yeah i don't fair. like it i never <laughs> want to go to transit ever again when i saw the bus on your trophy uh, in that map, that, uh, in Descent, yeah. yesterday or whenever. I was like, oh my god, that looks like the transit bus. Why is that on a trophy? <laughs> yeah, that's the Outbreak trophy. Uh, yeah, it was, it's trauma. I The the bus horn and... <laughs> uh, and the av avocado guy and... Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I hate... I don't want to ever see transit again. <laughs> that's fair. This is a good one. Ash Jones, how interested in the zombie storyline are you guys? Dude, I don't give a fuck about the story in this stupid game. Yeah, I think it would, honest, I think it's better without story. Because, <laughs> like, tr it's so disparate. Like, every piece is just like, now we're here, now we're here, now we're this, now we're that. I don't know who anyone is, and I don't care. <laughs> the zombie story feels like one of those... One of those things where people think it's good because it's complicated and hard to work out. Mm, yeah. Just because something's convoluted and difficult to figure out doesn't mean it's like good or clever. Also yeah. after like Marvel phase whatever. I know zombies came before that shit, but I'm just like kind of bored of multiverse, like time travel shenanigan stuff where there's no stakes because there's like four versions of every character and yeah, timeline one and timeline two. I just, I don't find it very interesting unless it's like super clever. And hey, we're, yeah. we're early on. Maybe Black Ops Three is like super genius. Maybe I'm gonna Probably not. I'm gonna decipher it. So maybe it's like super cool. But so far, it's just felt convoluted for the sake of being convoluted, and people revere it because they had to figure it out back in the day. Um, but we don't. Yeah, I am. I, I think it's been said in a, a yet to be released video that I am just sort of generally not very interested in video game stories at this point in my life, unless they're banging. And uh, even in games that have allegedly good stories of recent, I'm, I'm not interested. 
And so when you have this super convoluted thing that is told to me every eight weeks by you, <laughs> yeah. I just, I don't, I have no idea and I don't care. Yeah, I, I zero, care, no. zero percent interest. But this is like, you know, this is the one year catch up, stop in, yeah. whatever you want to call it. You know, maybe next year it will be amazing and enthralling. Maybe. I have no problem with them trying to weave a story through all this nonsense. I think that part is funny. Like that the fact that they actually try to assemble some sort of coherent story. Yeah. But I just, it's not for me. You know, God bless all the people that make and watch those eight hour story recap videos. I'm not going to ever. <laughs> it feels like a story where they came up with the concept of the map first. Of course. And yeah. then they, they made up some bullshit. Yeah, yeah 100%. To fill in the gaps. Like, oh, they yeah. grab a stone and they go to a different universe. And then people are like, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. I, I like, I think it's funny when people do exactly that. Of like, let's figure out a story to make this bullshit make sense. Um, but. It just also means I'm not going to care. <laughs> if only there was cutscenes so that we could figure it out, but no cutscenes. Well, scenes. that would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, there's no cutscenes. It's annoying. Anyway, I've left the biggest question for last. The oh most God. important question of them all. Oh, no. Do you guys actually thoroughly enjoy zombies out of 10? Question mark. Says Master Queef. <laughs> <laughs> huh. The big question after one year. I would like it more if there were not zombies at the time. <laughs> I don't know if... Yeah, okay. I like all of the weird nonsense. I like the weird variety of every map. Yeah. I like the upgrades. And I, sometimes I enjoy the sense of progress in terms of zombie elimination. Uh, and I think all the weird Easter egg stuff is sort of like the story stuff in that it's like a dumb bunch of bullshit, but it's kind of interesting how abstract it is. Yeah. But like the zombie shooting part is just, it's fine. Yeah, um, I think I agree. I i am going to say that I actually quite enjoy all the stuff that we do for the content. Yeah. Uh, I like exploring the maps. Um, it's fun to see this mode, which kind of has like, borderline no rules when it comes to like setting and gameplay mm -hmm. functions it's fun to see that progress and like you said it's unpredictable so it's fun loading into a map and not knowing what's about to happen um and i do like the easter eggs as well um i don't yeah. play any I don't know, mmos destiny stuff so i don't do raids anymore um they're not quite up to a destiny raid but they have that you know, corporation collaboration stuff, puzzly. Yeah, the spirit is there for the, sure. The DNA spirit is there, yeah. and I enjoy those two. Um, I just I don't like horde stuff anymore. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed uh, Gears of War back in the day. I enjoyed Firefight. Uh, some Left for Dead. Um, but yeah, I just don't really get much out of the act of like killing swarms of enemies over and over again. Mm -hmm. I think I tried. Warhammer Dark 40k, Tide. yeah, Dark Tide. Yeah. I know, like aesthetically, that game is super cool, but I don't care about playing that game ever again because, again, I just don't really get much out of like swarm horde wave-based stuff anymore. It feels old to me, and to be fair, the, the stuff we're playing is literally from like 2014 yeah. and 15. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like I almost just mimicked what you said, where I I like exploring the maps, uh, I like doing the Easter eggs, but when it comes to just like sitting in a corner and killing zombies. I don't get a lot out of it, but I definitely don't dislike it because I think Call of Duty just feels good in general. Like, regardless of what you think of Call of Duty from like an ethical yeah. business standpoint, they're they're good feeling shooters. So of absolutely shooting yeah. zombies in the head feels completely good and competent. Um, but I would never, by choice, get friends together and be like, let's just shoot zombies and get to like round a hundred for fun. It's just like not something that interests me at all. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm at right now. Yeah, I've never found the zombie shooting part to be as satisfying as the rest of the game mm. uh shooting wise I, it's just something with the hit reactions and they just sort of like walk right at you in a straight line and it's always felt a little light compared to the rest of cod for me but yeah. um i i appreciate seeing zombies after ignoring it completely for my entire life and yeah. so it's like oh it's nice to fill in that gap um and it also makes me generally respect cod content um offering 
way more because Call of Duty has always had a lot of content and I've always felt I've always respected Call of Duty for the amount of shit they pile into their games yeah uh, and that's with me having ignored all of zombies so now when I look at back at these games it's like wow there was all this zombies mode in here as well that's kind of wild uh, how much is in there yeah and uh, I agree like it's fun it's interesting to see all that stuff and I I generally enjoy all the zombie sessions but once we're done I'm like I have no desire to touch it again i also like because we played zombies so different from everyone else's progression like people had to play zombies that way because they paid for a map yeah. and they had to just play it like a you know a horde wave while well, a left for dead type genre thing mm -hmm. but we are like spoiled and get to just peruse around these maps leisurely and then move on and after being treated to that level of variety i don't know if i could ever just like casually play a map because right you know, I'm I'm addicted to newness. <laughs> you know, yeah. fresh yeah. experiences. Yeah, it's totally pleasant for the most part. There, the the other thing is there are a lot of uh, little obnoxious things in zombies that add up. I was I will say. Is that because uh, we've been playing advanced warfare or in general? No, I would say that about all of them. For you know, in varying ways, just like getting hung up on things or. Or just the way zombies sometimes, you know, windmill you. And just little things that every game has little things. Uh, but when you, I don't know, they just, they kind of drive me crazy at times. But it's not, uh, it's not a big deal. It's, zombies is solid. Yeah. I mean, do you want to give it a rating? I don't, I don't know if I could like, oh, quantify um, zombies out of 10. Year one. Out of 10. I, I've always struggled with a 10 point ranking. Um, I'm looking at all these maps. Uh, six. I give it a six. Yeah. I, I haven't done the frustrating stuff, so I might actually say like a seven, just because sure. I have it pretty easy, you know? Um, and I, I definitely respect the variety. Every map, I have no idea what I'm going to what I'm gonna get. Advanced Warfare has been fairly samey. Um, yeah. But that's okay. It's There's still been a decent variety there. Uh, but Black Ops 2 is just like, roll the dice. Let's put it, it was like taking I don't know cue cards, bingo cards, and just like throwing them on the ground and be like, oh those Western underground town, <laughs> yeah. perfect. Let's do that, uh, and that's fun. I, I like that part of it a lot. Yeah, um, that's what know. I um I'm excited for again. Getting back to Black Ops Three is just like the wildness. Mm -hmm. I want no cohesion. Yeah, the less yeah the less coherent it is, the better for me. <laughs> yeah, just give me pure nonsense. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up the Q&A for this year. Before I go, I would like to ask you guys what your favorite chapter and moment across the year was, because I would be interested to hear what those were. But that is it. Year one is over. I think I'll do one of these videos every year. It's quite nice to take a break from making the chapters and do something a little different to look back on what we've done up to this point and contemplate how far we have to go. World at War, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and almost all of Advanced Warfare is down. I hope you guys enjoyed year one. By the looks of things, year two will definitely be all of Black Ops 3. And after that, we will have to see where this series is when it comes to viability and if we can support it long term. If things are going strong on the Patreon, Infinite Warfare will also be this year. If things aren't looking that good, I will probably just put zombies on pause to focus on Modern Warfare 3 content, but we will see how things go. Also, the Nightfall map from Extinction should be up on the Patreon very soon, along with the Descent Exploration chunk not long after. Thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for supporting. Year 2 is up next.